these two teams. Secret standard stuff, this early AM pick. Yeah, Tiger doing a good job as well with the spirits, making sure the puppy cannot come in and pull it away immediately. Yep, and we see Boxy, he's playing the uh, no mana build. Oh, oh puppy! His ult's on cooldown, he's gonna be in trouble, he's got a phase shift. It does try and jump out, but the damage is there, Tiger. Oh, and his courier. Oh. Is he gonna find it? He's looking for it. No. Nope. Doesn't want to dive the tower for it, so Puppy will be able to keep the courier safe. So there it is, the, the 30 minutes, 38 seconds on the Battle of Fury from Matu. It's top lane. They're gonna try for the jump in on Tanisha, leading him with the stampede box. He's able to find the catch. The Mortimer's Kisses start to come out from Zai. Roll forward from Yap, so he's in on top of Koifa, but Koifa in that ultimate form, a little too tanky for them to do anything about. Still though, they burst down Boxy. Chase from Tiger with the Sunray, looks towards Nisha, and other roots out now with the Supernova. They try and turn the beat down with the Fear, pushes him away from the egg. He comes no, back in, though Zai will claim the egg, but Liquid get his life in return. Puppy's here now though, the Magnetize stopped spreading. Yaps actually didn't get the stone down in time, so I don't think they have enough damage to continue here. They do still stick together as a unit. Puppy, it's not going to be dispelled on him, but he's already jumping away with the orb. Boxy is going to try and chase, goes with the stampede. Puppy turns with the dream coin. In fact, the dream coin will catch him. The fear into the root though will set up for Puppy to fall. I think the, the Coil is down. Coil is one of those big abilities. Right. I, mean, I think this pretty is pretty quick. big. Yeah, with the bear, with the god strength, they're, they're taking it down fast. Secret are starting to head over, but they don't have the puck. Zai's looking for a position where he can get good Mortimer kisses, where it won't get cancelled. Yeah, he's going to start doing it. He's going to start throwing into the pit, but Liquid, they're already out. They're looking for the fight outside of it all. They turn over towards Yapsor. Yapsor goes down. The Supernova starts to push Secret back, but Boxy, he's staying on top of Nietzsche. There'll be a buyback from Yapsor, wanting to get straight back in on the action. A buyback as well from Insania, but Secret, they cannot protect Nisha. Nisha has been isolated. Liquid. Making the, the smart move then yeah. to not only go for Roche, to throw down the ultimate into the pit. And die from a distance too, so he can't actually focus fire and kill the egg. So Tiger knows he can be safe for a moment there. Coil up in two oh, seconds. Oh, they're going to go for the, the cookie stun. play. It's a little early though. Roshan still at the Dream Coil now. Matsu split can pushing they the get base. Yapsel's going to roll in. Radiant, they do get the kill on Roche, but Mickey still grabs the Aegis, jumps out with the stun over towards Puppy and Zai. They take down Puppy now. Zai, he's in trouble. He's got one more cookie up. He goes again, but Mickey and Sany and Boxy, they'll continue to run him down. Stun should be back up in a second from Mickey as he comes flying Matthew's forward. Taking racks. Takes down the Snapfire. And as you say, Matsu, he's in a whole other... He's not really a fan factor at all as this lone druid. Matsu's ready to get a little involved himself now as he's got a DD rune, jumps over, looks towards the bed, the bed, it, it just resummoned, and now he's part two. Oh, and Quifer's gonna be dead as well by the looks of it. They're going for the egg as well. They're gonna be able to find it. Oh, oh the stun! Not Boxy! He's in with the, the stun! Oh, Boxy! Oh, he protects the egg perfectly! Woo! Oh, excellent from Boxy. He will be able to turn that around. That gets the big one. That's Matumba Man dead and gone. As They'll clean up Zai as well. Boxy, I mean, it was one hit away. Oh one hit away and God. Boxy comes in big time. It really does feel like it might just be, be a non-factor in a lot of these situations. Oh, Boxy, they get the silence on him. And he's going to try and step up. He's got the pipe. It's a pretty tanky, boy. tanky as well as the Halberd. Charge across from Mickey that comes flying in onto Yapsor. Nice. Keeps Mickey safe. They take out the Earth Spirit. Can they go for anything else here? Mickey did pop the ultimate for this one. Looks like the rest of the secret they're hiding in the trees. McKay is going to be in range though. Comes flying up with the sun onto Zai. They are going to be able to find a second. Zai, oh, say that. He's, he's actually living with that cookie. The plus 200 health as well gets him out. And no, another one. Doesn't matter. Mickey still chasing him down. Matu blinks in for this one. Pots the man to get out of there. Zai's actually going to buy back. Mickey is out slow. of mana. He's getting kind of. The kisses are coming in, but they've got the stampede pop. They're on the retreat. Yapsil's trying to get in with a rolling bolt, and Mickey's still incredibly so low. low. The BKP's popped. Mickey, he turns. He kills off Yapsil. That's a die back on the Earth Spirit. Mickey trying to limp and Matu blinks in with a BKP. Takes out the Sven. Mickey is gone for 90. And Matu's ready to chase down for more here. Blinking in. Look at the What's the back lines? The rest of the team dealing with Boxy. Boxy they gets the TP get off in time, though. Nothing to cancel. And now Matu, the bear, is fighting back. The break as well. Matu losing some of the protection, but he still gets the opportunity to blink back to safety. Charge forward. The cookie on the illusion of the anti-mate sets up for the bear killed. Matu's back in with the mana void. Oh, takes out Insania. But it's been tough. This could be an opportunity, though. Mickey, he's looking for Puppy when he's doing the split push. And they will be able to yeah. find him. They get in with the grab. So that's a bit of back out. The three of them left. Nisha able to TP away, but Zai's not going to be as fortunate. Insania with the stolen cookie feeds it to the bear. And they're really starting to make it. So the secret, they've got to really think about how they make their plays. Yeah, Zai, now bottom. Look at Mikke. He's already wrapping around onto Zai here. Zai might be able to get the kill here onto oh, Insania. It's, it's a, he does get him. He does get the kill. He's got the disarm, but the stampede's there from Boxy, keeping Mikke on top of Zai. Zai, he'll go down. The Dream Core's there onto the two of them as now Nisha starts to punch back onto the Centaur. 
Matu blinking in as well, looking for Boxy. Boxy may just be left behind her or not. No, Quifer comes in with the bear, fears back. Secret giving some space for Boxy to continue to run. Steps into the trees, gets, gets another boost on that. Boxy, he's living, and now the eggs out. Matu's BKB, gonna blink in with the BKB. He's gonna look for Boxy first. Now turns towards the end, but he's gonna rid Matu. He's done, he's dead. He's gone for a hundred. Matu is out of the game. He spent up. He does not have buyback on this anti mage. And Nisha, he's been found as well. Mickey stunts after the creeps, catches Nisha in the range of the stun. There's four dead on secret. Can they end it? As Matu on the base. See the TP's come in. I'm gonna pop the stampede box. He's gonna try and chase this down here. Oh, Mika's gonna try to cut him off. Look at this. He's darting oh, all the way across the map. He's got a TP though. Moon. And he is gonna start okay. TPing out there from the trees as he's away. Oh, only just in time though. And Senya nearly found him back over towards mid. The kiss has come out onto Tiger. Take down the Phoenix and maybe able to beat down onto the bear as well as he gets slowed up. Now find oh, it, and in fact, the roll over onto Koifa. Koifa, he needs help. Insania with the stolen blink, jumps in, gets the lead in onto Nisha as Mikke goes for with the ult. Matu jumps Don't in, Mikke. he's ready to try and fight back against the Sven. He's looking towards Mikke, has to blink away. Now Mikke just doing too much damage. The mana just there, enough for him to jump over once more to Yapsor. Double kill for Mikke. The fear from the bear pushes back Zai into the reaches of the Sven as Mikke claims the triple and rushes up. Liquid the into the pit. Nisha out for 90 without buyback. This is going to be a free Roshan for Liquid. Yep, and even though Tiger dies, immediately buys back. He's back into the fight. Nisha, no buyback. Matu going the only way that, that he really can right now. Nisha. Mid lane. Jump bottom lane. They get the jump in onto Nisha. Nisha's been hexed. They're able to force him to the side. The dream goes out to two and then they pop the egg. Very defensive positioning. Matu did go in incredibly he's he's aggressive for the back lines. And he's gone for it. He's dead. He's out of the game. He does have buyback. And a big aggressive move from Matu, punished he heavily. Now they look for the jump in. Onto Mike. Have they got the control? Mike getting stunned up. He's popped the satanic though. He's turning. He's gonna be able to start life stealing as the egg. comes to the end. The exit. There. They're turning Matu. He pulled back for this and he's dead again. Matu dead and gone. He's out of this one for two minutes as liquid. They should be able to resume this cleanup or at least finish off this bottom racks. The melee racks are gone. Mike charges him once more with the stun onto Yapsaw. Yapsaw's dead, going to die. Or is, or is he? He's going to live. Nisha goes down. Nisha buys back. Liquid poking a little close to the fountain now. See a secret can punish this. Liquid focusing back towards the objectives. Nisha starting to stack up the poison on Boxy. Mike, he's back in. Charges forward yet again. The cookie trying to save Nisha, keeping him apart from Mike. Mike, they're, they're pushing very dangerously close towards the fountain here, Liquid. They may need to calm it down a little bit. Jesus Pop will heal Mike back up at the Mickey's Viper. Burning. It is slowing him down. The Hex is on the puppy. Mike charges over on towards Yapso. And Yapso cooking back towards the fountain. Mike pops the BKB, but he's a bit to some. Gets the stun off onto Nisha, though, and he's done it. He's killed off Nisha. Nisha and mid lane, quite far. He's just finishing it off. Takes GG. The tier fours, takes the ancient. GG. I, I think they covered their bases too. Starts to get to be quite a big problem. Oh, yep, sir. Finds himself one courier. Is he going to find himself another? Not quite yet. Bobby, careful. That's 28 decay on Insania. Ooh, can he get that last hit in? He can't quite. Puppy, he's got the movement speed to get back and pop the south. Now, yep, so just walks in with a toss onto Tiger. Soul assumption as well. It's enough. Secret, they'll be the ones to claim first blood. See top, another bit of a poke onto Insania. Mikke's Kora actually getting in a, a bit of a precarious position Ooh. as he gets taken out. And Mikke, he also loses his life there. A big old mistake there from Mikke. May also cost them Insania as the sole assumption. It'll do it. Matu takes down the Undying as well. Koikfa is summoning. Look at Zai, he's waiting for Boxy to try to go for a rune. Up top, Yapsar, puppy. Will they be able to finish off Tiger? No, the heals. That's going to keep him alive or not. Oh. The soul assumption again, that nuke too much from Matumba Man. Yep, so he's trying to keep the distance. And he'll be able to. It's a very good brood game versus the majority of heroes that Team Secret does have. Boxy. It's going to try and lead in here. The Doom's going to get dropped down onto Boxy. Back up for Tiger. TP's coming in for Secret as Nisha's hurting over to help out with this one. The raise comes out. Burst down the Mars. Mickey Make it. also falling here as Nisha finds the second oh, raise. Whoa, whoa. They're going to lose four here, Liquid. As Secret respond, Nisha joins the fray. And Jabsaw. Maybe they can find a way to go. Gets the courier of Nisha as well there with that crash of the shield. 
And the puppy kill as well. So Liquid's movement finds one. The rest of Secret, they'll know what's up now. Liquid, they so. want to go for more. They still have that arena. Boxy charging him with a haste rune. He's able to catch the two of them in the arena. The spear as well, canceling the Requiem. They do get the Visage drop with the burst to stun them in response. Because the Requiem also gets the chance to pop the ult there. Oh my god. Matu with those stuns from the Familiars, allowing a chance to hit back. They'll still lose the SF, though, as Boxy comes in. Finishes off the life of Nisha, but now he's surrounded by Zai, Yapsa, and Matu's birds. This will be another one for Secret by the looks of it as Boxy. He's going to try his best to run away, but he's taking it from the tower. Puppy swaps him. They have, they have such good fight right now with Secret. They have so much damage that we were talking about. Yapsa. Yep, yep, so he is able to get the avalanche, but he can't quite get the toss back. Zai, can he find a target? In fact, Boxy's in. He's got the arena down onto the three of them. And with the tombstone, the zombies, they're doing work. They'll be able to get the hit onto both the Venge. The Tiny and this SF, the cancel as well of the Red Cream initially by that telekinesis, stopping Nisha's inevitable turnaround as he's got to run. The nukes there from Kuiper, they take down Yapsor as well. He isn't shifting into strength. And Sania trying to heal him back up. And it's not gonna be enough. That soul assumption comes in. Zai finding that beautiful, the dream target. As he's able to just get in onto the morph and now look for even more. They're charging in oh, over the towards Tiger. <laughs> They're going to find the Rubik as well. Zai leading the team there back into the advantage. 3 0 8. Can they look for any sort of snipe here, Liquid? They're starting to head over a little bit, but as we say, the team fight around they're, the pit, it's going to be hard to do. Their ults are back up. The Mars does have ulti okay. back up. Let's see if we can do it. Boxy is in. He is able to catch them, but they turn straight away. Oh, oh my, God, my what goodness, the, the Requiem, it kills them straight away. Secret, they don't even care that this Mars tried to start things off as they'll still finish off the Roshan, get the Aegis on Tanisha. Mika trying to get all the farm as possible down bottom during this push. See what Liquid can do to hold here. This is an early high ground push here from Secret, 20 minutes in. There's the jump forward, Boxy. He's going to try and peel Nisha back to the rest of the teams, but Nisha just passed the BKB. The Requiem's out. Boxy, he's almost certainly going to fall for this one. The Fear pushing him away. He's dead for 70. Koifer, he tries to come in Koifer. from the back lines. He's getting stunned. He's got to be careful as this spider into the trees he goes. They have managed to pick off Matumba Man, but the Doom is down onto the morph. Mickey starts they do. stepping back. They swap him back in. He's building up a lot of strength, but with the raises, they've got so much damage that Mickey is in so much trouble. Mickey goes down. He'll buy back. But Secret, they've taken the tier three. See if they want to go for anything more here, Secret. The grab's there. On to Nisha's beside the grab of Koifer. He's got to be careful. Three blade there from Mickey, providing some protection, allows him to get back. They're taking the Aegis out of the hands of Nisha. And they're trying to come out here, Liquid. This is, this is risky. They get the spear on Tanisha. He's, he's, he's kind of scary now. nothing else coming. They do lose Puppy. Koifer's okay. able to take out the Venge. Oh, Matu's getting slowed by some zombies here, too. Can Liquid try for more? Maybe this will work out to their favor. They get the jump in. Onto the Visage. Pushing him to the side. There'll be a buyback from Puppy, but Matu's falling low. The silence is there. Matu. He's got the cheese. He's going to get himself back up to a decent amount of HP, but he's trapped in by the arena. Quite for committing with the BKB. They'll get the kill. Oh, wow. They take down Matu on the side, though. Zai again has found the Doom target. He gets it dropped down onto the morph. They'll be able to force Mickey back to safety. Boxy also able to escape. Can they keep this morph alive in Satania? Trying to punch back in onto Zai. Tiger with the lift up, separating the Doom from the Morphling, and Mickey will live out the Doom. Silence now onto the Tiny. Mickey turns with the E Blade combo and wow. the burst from the Spidelings. They'll kill off Yapsor. Mickey going in aggressively, but Nisha's there with the Red Grim pushing him back. The raises are out. The stun from the birds. Mickey will fall. Tiger. Stone Red Grim. To go for the TP away and quote, but he's actually able to take out the Aegis. They've been able to bring down Nisha once. Puppy bought back for this one. Puppy. Turning back over towards Boxy Zai, trying to chase. The Wave of Terror catches the three if they got any control on it. Quite for the Quite, Quite be careful. Familiar into the Magic Missile. Quite for stuck around too long. Secret all in position there on the high ground. Insania? They're going to try and lead him with a grab. They got the chain stun. That's the quest. They go with the spear, but Nisha reacts straight away with the BKB. Boxy trying to back off turns with the shield. That's the shield up. Yapsor and Boxy dropping the arena. Now burst him down with the toss combo. Now Koifer moves over towards Nisha. So from the side, the Requiem. Stolen Requiem does push back the three of them. Nisha trying to punch back, but the E-Blade, it has to, it's going to disarm it for the moment being as Nisha gets a little low, but tonight again, he's finding this morph. Mikke every single time, oh, stopping man. what Mikke can do in these fights as Mikke will be run down by the full lineup of Secret. Nobody dying. Have successfully thwarted Team Liquid this well, time. They really have in this game too. No messing around for Secret. 
Back to regular form from them, and there it is. GG is cool. Secret will take this. Always been looked at one of those counters to Darkseer in the laning phase. Same thing coming out from Secret, though. Also putting themselves Echo, trying to kill the Darkseer. They're going to get a hit. Because level one, no escape available. Yeah, now he's going to actually be able to surge Taiga to maybe get aggressive on Tanisha. Under the tower they go. They're going to get in with a combo. Tiger, he's, he's got him. Tiger? Tiny. Something about tiny players. Looking very good. He will almost certainly die for this one. A secret will punish him, finally get him out of the place. But in his first eight minutes, Tiger, he's certainly done. Oh, look at this. A very this is, lovely rune. Yeah, he's going to be excited oh, about this one, Tiger. What's he going to find? Oh, Puppy knew. Yeah, he knew. Uh, Straight quick. up reaction with the time lapse. Nisha's going to try and go in onto Tiger. And actually, Tiger, he'll turn with the toss back. Nisha up to the it's high ground. Six. They've got the trap slow as well. Puppy's going to continue to try and chase down Tiger. Nisha glimpses back, silence out from Mickey as well. They take down the Pugna. Koifer falling low, finally goes down to the Firestorm, but they take two down with them. Puppy is going to go in with the Shikuchi onto Boxy. We'll get out with the remainder of it. Liquid definitely wanted to have a lead going into this part of the game, though, here. Yep, so Secret getting aggressive. Straight away, though, the Static Storm responds. Quite Quite immediate. They do find this opening on to Quaifa, but Quaifa's forced out to the side. Boxy as well with the nice save. Skipping Quaifa save. And now, with the vacuum track back, Yapsor's in trouble. They're focusing him down. Now they'll turn over towards trying to save Tiger. His puppy and Zai try and chase him in. Matu coming in early with the Mana Void. They do find the kill onto the Tiger's t Tiny. And imagine so with this smoke that they want to do something with it. There's the minutes. jump forward. Who are they going to be able to find the grab on Tiger? It's There's the Nisha. combos. The big stars. They take down the Pugna now with the drag back. Clock stuck in his own cog here as Yapsor cannot run. It's right next to the Roche too. So he's going to get a huge critical spike for this TA. Plus an Aegis on top too. While AM just farms. So. Matsu tries to get involved but Tiger's in with the control. They are going to start to disengage inside. Pots the Rift ready to take them out. Is he going to be able to do so in time and take the three of them though? He didn't take the anti mage as oh, no. Matu. He didn't want to get in the he didn't want to get in the ride. He jumped out the car door, and they didn't take him back. That's when you really have to start feeling the concern. But no, they're they're definitely keeping themselves in a good oh. spot. See, they can catch Puppy this time. And with the grab, they're going to drop oh, the static storm. Everything on yeah, this last time. time. Yeah, very much necessary without that static storm, Puppy. Tiger on the prowl. Oh, he's going straight in. He's hunted. He's looking for Nisha. Yapsor's going to be able to provide some safety as he comes in with a hook shot. Now Tiger's deep. Tiger, he's straight up dead. Boxy, though, he gets the Ooh. vacuum. The Static Storm has caught the two of them, but can the rest of them get in? Force forward from the Drow. They'll kill off Yapsor. They're going to be able to find Nisha as well by this, but he uses himself up. He's still alive. Wait, Matu. He managed to get the blink off. Nisha will live, but Matu's committed. Oh my the God. last bit of matter allowing him to blink to safety. Matu's out. DD on Koik for two. Uh, they're going to get the jump in. Oh, Nisha. He was on the front. He stepped right up to the top of the staircase and they blow him up. Yapsor's gonna come up with a hook shot. We'll be able to push back quite for keeping him trapped on the high ground. The rest of Liquid trying to break through the cogs to Crepify onto the TA, but the BKB's puppy has been disarmed. Yapsor nullified Liquid. Them he's back pushing. Away. Matu is, he's on the high ground up top. He's getting that tier three tower. They've got to make some decisions, Liquid. What are they gonna do? They're trying to back off, get themselves a decent distance away before TPing back and now they will. They're out of quits coming out. Yapsaw is going to throw out the rocket flare. Move them from the jump on a Matu. Matu can get out in time. He's trying to get himself away. Abyssal's to the side. He's on top of the TA. Koifer absolutely out of mana. Now trying to run. Yapsaw's in with a battery assault. The Decrepify into the life train. Koifer's down the ones. Boxy's back in the game. Surges forward. Gets the vacuum in onto Yapsaw. Yapsaw still in the kinetic field. Another cogs out. But Koifer's got the reach. But the Decrepify save. Yapsaw's still alive for now. The Nullify takes it off. The time, time, time lapse from Puppy. Keeping Yapsaw alive. The pit holding the back. But Koifer charges forward with the melt hit. Takes out the clock. Yapsaw buys back. Matu. He's in the front of it. Tiger in with the toss combo. Matu pops the man to Tyler. He gets Boxy again. Gets Boxy. Finds the big target off the darks here. And Mickey, he's trying to run. But Zai's in. Matu blinks forward. Uh -oh. They've taken down Mickey as well from the Roche far enough that Secret do have the space to continue to finish it off. And they're still really healthy, and look at that play there by Nisha. Filling up Matumba Man's mana with the life train there to make sure that he can still fight. Well, Liquid's low on mana here for this fight. Then you get the silence onto Yapso, Tiger as well, getting the jump, looking to burst down this anti-mage. Matu gets low, but he the gets Axe time lapse straight back up to full HP, pops the Minotaur horn as well. Matu is more than fine. Insania is out and gone for 50 seconds. Mickey trying to beat into this anti-mage, but Matu is just too fat right now. They do not have the damage to deal with him. 
It's Liquid, they're just having to step away once more. As much as they try to push into this pit, they cannot deal with this anti-mage. Matsu's in again. Boxy adds to split back. They try and head out of there, but Yapsil's in with the hook shot, disrupting the movements of Quoi for a Mikke. Tiger caught in the river. Matsu heads over to finish off this tiny. Tiger's got to be careful. He bought back for this one. Manavoy comes in a little early, but it doesn't matter. Matsu still gets the kill. It's a dieback from Tiger. Out for 90. Again, Quoi for just having to use this BKB to get out of there. As Secret, they chase him down right up to the, the best. The Surge is in, but Matu gets the first bash. The Surge will still save him, but now Boxy is stuck without an escape. The Dark Seer goes down. And the heal comes out from Nisha. Trying to punch into Matu. Boxy goes for the vacuum. The Static Storm out as well, but Boxy just falls immediately on the front of it all. Yapsaw's in with a hook shot onto Insania. Mikkei forces back to the side. Matu just focusing the objectives. Finishes off the melee racks over towards the range racks. He goes, does get caught by the silence. Tiger in with the avalanche. They'll take down the anti-mage the ones. Can they do it a second time? The Mega Creeps are out and up against Liquid. Zai is going to look to play it safe, take Matu back home. We'll have a little bit of respect for Boxy coming in as Matu being a bit careful how he commits to the Ancient, but he knows that he's strong. He'll continue to do so. Mikke trying to push him away, but the Mega Creeps They're are too in. Strong. They've got a repair kit, but it's not. Or is it going to repair the state of the game? I mean, they're killing Matu, no. but no, the repair kit's not strong enough.